Hey everyone, before we get into today's video, I wanted to come on, today's video has been pre-recorded, but I wanted to come on and ask you guys for a huge, huge favor. I need you guys to join with me in prayer for the beautiful young lady whose channel is Little Blessed Nest. If you remember several years back, I came on and asked for prayers for the needy homesteader who lost her husband in a tragic car wreck. I am now asking for you to pray for the young lady over at Little Blessed Nest. Her husband unexpectedly died. Um, I think she found him in the car on their way to dialysis. And um, so please. I cannot even begin to imagine what my life would be like without Bryant in it. So I'm pleading with you guys. I am um, just now becoming familiar with her channel. Uh, it has eluded me somehow. So I am actually just now becoming um, acquainted with her channel because some of you reached out to me and told me that um, what had happened to her husband. So please, I beg of you, I implore you to please pray and lift her up in prayer. And if you have time, send her a comment, a card. I don't know if her address is on her channel or not, but send her some kind of message that you are praying for her. I can't begin to imagine. Some of you already know what it's like. Some of you have walked this road. Um, I have not. And I don't want to even think about walking that road. So please be in prayer for her over at the Little Blessed Nest. Now, thank you guys so very much. Now we'll get on with today's video. Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new here, my name's Leslie. I am the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I upload content usually on cooking. Sometimes grocery hauls, sometimes day in the life of, sometimes farming, sometimes ministry. You'll get a little bit of everything here. But today we are making a decadent dessert. I'll tell you all about it. And it's a trial. It's a recipe I've had going on up here for a little while. But it's based around my cozy coffee recipe. So don't go anywhere. The intro is a great time to hit subscribe. Hey, darling. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. real far let's get out we can leave this city let's drive to the open air yeah the country so little backstory on this recipe um i was actually developing this recipe for a restaurant uh, a local restaurant they had they have they serve yeast rolls and at the end of the day there was lots of yeast rolls left over. So this was going to be based on their yeast rolls and my cozy coffee recipe. Uh, so as you can tell, we're probably making a bread pudding. But the funny story is they sent me home with a box of their yeast roll dough and I stuck it in the freezer until I was ready to use it. I was going to bake off the yeast rolls, let them set for a day and, um, then, then develop and work on this recipe. Well, Bryant was getting something out of the freezer one day and he sat the box out and he forgot to put it back in and we came home and there was like dough because it rises, you know, it was yeast dough. It rose and it had oozed out. It was all over my porch. It was actually quite the mess. Well, I never went, I, I, I didn't get back to get any more yeast dough 
to continue making it. <laughs> and actually, um, the land that this restaurant site on was sold and it is no longer here. So, I am actually going to continue working on this recipe now. I've never tried it. It's all like, the idea is all up here. So, we served the church a meal the other night. We had our feast with friends meal and there was lots of leftover rolls. They're not your normal yeast rolls, but lots of leftover rolls. So that's what we're going to use. Okay, everyone. So before we get to the bread, we're going to start on some of the ingredients that need to get to warming up. Now I'm going to mention a cup and a half of half and half, but that's not all the liquid we will be putting in. So just make note of that. Uh, the descript the recipe will be down in the description. We're making it up as we go, so I'll probably have to watch the video back to to write it down. And if by chance I forget, that's what you need to do. Get a piece of paper, jot it down as we go. So, all right, so I have a saucepan here, and I've got a cup and a half of half and half. You can use whole milk. I just happen to have some half and half, um, so we're going to use that. Okay, instant coffee granules. Um what I did was a, a little bit of moisture had gotten to mine, just a little bit, not much, but you could tell they'd been around a while. So I ran it through my uh, little milk, sh my shake blender, let's see, what's it called? Magic bullet, my little magic bullet. So, and I think that'll help it dissolve a little bit better. So <clears throat> we're going in with a half a cup of instant coffee granules. If you're unfamiliar with my cozy coffee recipe, I'll try to link that video down below. Now we need a half a cup of cocoa and I'm hoping that's a little more than half a cup, but that's okay. I might as well just use my whole can. There's no point in saving that little bit. Okay, so I'm going to get this heating, heating up and dissolving because I want to be sure the coffee and the cocoa all dissolve. I do need to add some sugar to this. Let me grab my sugar. And we're going to add about a half a cup to that as well. Um, we, there will be more sweetening going into this. Um, so don't let that throw you off that it's only half a cup. So, all right, I'm going over to the stove. I'm just gonna simmer this. I'm not gonna boil it. I'm just gonna simmer it and uh, whisk it till it's dissolved. It is finished simmering over there on the stove. I'm gonna get you guys turned down. I brought it over here and we're letting it cool. So to this, I'm gonna add in um, probably a tablespoon of vanilla, at least a couple of teaspoons. Uh, a good teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And this is what gives it that just special something, something. And we're gonna whisk that in. It takes a little bit for that cinnamon to get incorporated just like it did the chocolate. So I have to whisk for a little bit. I'm throwing it out here. Splashing it. All right, let's get a, just a little bitty pinch of salt. Since I'm not using any salted butter in this recipe. Uh, when I'm doing a dessert and it calls for salt, if I'm using salted butter, I do not use the salt. And I always use salted butter. But if the recipe for some reason does not have butter in it, then I, um, I do put the little pinch of salt that it calls for. Um, I think it just enhances, especially when you're working with chocolate. That cinnamon is going to enhance the chocolate. The coffee is going to enhance the chocolate and that salt. So this is going to be such a decadent, delicious. I'm hoping anyway. In my mind, it's going to be wonderful because my cozy coffee is wonderful. Red pudding is wonderful. So in my mind, this is it. Okay. So, let me tell you, I said there would be more liquid. Um, this is the bowl I had the half and half in. I want you to grab your favorite creamer. Now, I wouldn't use a hazelnut 
French vanilla would be okay. I would stay away from like hazelnut or something like that. Sweet, this is my favorite. It is the Italian sweet cream. I use the sugar free, but it is sweetened. So um, this is why we only used half a cup of sugar because there's, there's sweetener in here. And we're gonna use another cup and a half. So three cups total of liquid. If you don't want this part, I would increase the sugar and add um, more half and half. But I think this is gives it a decadence too, in my mind anyway. We put this in our cozy coffee. And so this is a take on our cozy coffee. So we might as well go all the way, right? And y'all know how much I love this stuff, so that takes a lot for me to use. <laughs> it's a lot of sacrifice using a cup and a half. But I really want to try this recipe. I, it's been on my mind for months. And um, my friends who, who owned that restaurant still have other restaurants. So um, if it's really good, I may give them the idea. All right. All right, so now let's get our bread and our eggs ready. Okay, so the oven is preheating. The eggs have been beaten. Five eggs, five large eggs. And I'm just taking um, these rolls that I had left over from the um, meal at church. We gave away as many as people would take, and then what they didn't take, I kept, and we'll make bread pudding. I kept enough that if this one doesn't turn out, we can um, start over and try again. Uh, I think it's going to work fine, though. I'm excited. All right. Now I'm going to tear up about five to six cups of bread I think so I'm going to keep tearing I'll bring you back when I get everything ready to assemble okay everybody it's getting super exciting around here <clears throat> so let's start with our mixture here I always give this a good whisk because that coffee really likes to settle if you've made my cozy coffee you know by the time you get to the end of the cup there's a dark film it's that instant coffee so I'm continuing to um, stir that. Let me get rid of my fork here. Okay, I have my eggs that I've beaten, and I'm just going to pour those in to our mixture here. When I added that other that um, cup and a half of the cream, that cooled off my mixture so I don't have to worry about scrambled eggs or anything. So I'm just beating these eggs in. If by chance you have not added your salt and vanilla, now is the time, and cinnamon, now is the time to do so. All right, we're gonna set that aside. I have buttered my dish really well, and I have about five, well, I have about eight cups. Let's take a little bit of that out. I wanted six cups. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I got a little happy with the bread. All right, six cups of bread. And you know what? I'm gonna add that in anyway. So I guess that's closer to seven to eight cups of bread, but we're adding it in anyway. All right, and what I'm gonna do with this is I'm just gonna pour this over and we're gonna let it sit. This is gonna be the hard part is letting it sit prior to, um, and I don't have any whipped cream. Ugh. All right, and remember, I always like to give it this little whisk at the end, because that coffee does like to settle. Y'all, I think this is gonna be a hit. I think it's gonna be a hit. Let me get a spatula because I don't want to leave any of that good stuff in there. And there's plenty still left. Oh my goodness, y'all. 
If you've tried my cozy coffee, you know this is going to be good. All right. Now we're just going to let this sit and let that bread soak up that goodness. But let me tell you what else we're going to do. <laughs> this is totally optional. And I'm going to explain why I'm doing it. I have a temptation, and chocolate is my temptation. One of my one of my many temptations. Chocolate is it. Um, and so, um, um, I have. I like to snack on chocolate chips. I think I ate a cup of them yesterday, but I have maybe a maybe a fourth of a cup left, and I'm just going to sprinkle these on top. There's not many. This this is completely non necessary. The only reason I'm adding them is to get rid of them out of my house, so I don't eat them. <laughs> that is the only reason we're using them. Okay guys, we're gonna let this sit for about 30 minutes and then we'll place it in the oven for about 45 at 325. So I'll bring you back right before we get ready to set it in the oven so we can see what it looks like at that point. Okay, while I'm anxiously awaiting to put it in the oven, I thought I would talk about what I would do if I did not want to use the liquid creamer. Like, let's say this was for a restaurant or for something and they don't want to buy a liquid creamer to put in this coffee. I would use three cups of half and half and maybe three fourths cup of sugar <clears throat> instead of the half a cup. I would increase the sugar and increase the half and half and just omit the <clears throat> coffee creamer. But um, I just thought that sweet cream would give it a good flavor and um, making it true to my cozy coffee. But if um, th that's what I would do, I would um, make the half and half three cups, make the sugar three fourths cup to a cup. I mean, I would, I I'm not sure which it would be first, I mean, yet, um, but I think three fourths of a cup would be plenty. And um, yeah, so that's what I would do. It's still sitting. It's still resting. I am anxiously waiting for it to go in the oven. I'm actually really anxiously awaiting for it to come out. Oh my goodness, this is hard. Okay, everyone, here's what it looks like. It has soaked up a lot of that liquid, but not all of it. So we're going in a 325 degree oven for about 45 minutes. And this is going to be the longest 45 minutes of my life because I want to see if this recipe works. Okay, I'll see you in 40. For you, it'll be just a second. For me, it'll be 45 minutes. It's ready. Ah, the timer just went off. Now, the worst part is, is I don't have anybody here for a taste test. So, I got to call Caroline or see how far Bryant is. Bryant's doing something at the church. So... Yeah, this is going to be the hard part of waiting, but let's get it out of the oven. Like my cozy coffee. It really smells like my cozy coffee. Okay, so let me see if I can find some way to do a taste test. And I've got to find out if this is good or not. Okay, everybody, so I called Caroline over to give it a taste test, and I found some whipped cream to keep it true to the cozy coffee way of fixing things. 
Uh, instead of ice cream, we're using whipped cream. So I'm going to give it a little dollop of whipped cream. And we're going to let Caroline give it a taste. It's hot. Can they see you? I yeah, they see. can see me. They can see me. I'm anxiously awaiting. I'm sorry. It's really hot. I'm kind of scared I'm going to burn my tongue. We'll blow it. That's good. That's really good. <laughs> it tastes like cozy coffee. <laughs> yes! Okay, guys. Bryant will be here in just a little bit. That's really good. She keeps shaking her head, so it must be good. Okay, so Bryant will be here in just a little bit, and we'll get his take on it. It's, it's like the perfect combination of, like, it's not like super super sweet it's just it's just good it's just perfect okay y'all there you have it so I may call my friend who owns the restaurant see if they still would like this recipe I don't know we'll see let's call Brian and when he gets home we'll let him taste it and see what he thinks so okay I'm coming around to catch y'all off now can I just wait long enough for Bryant? Okay, everybody. So, Bryant is at home. I've dipped him out some. And I'm going on with the whipped cream. This is a bread pudding based on my cozy coffee. Okay. All right. Cozy coffee bread pudding. Yep. Never had that before. What about you guys? This is the an original. An all original? An all original. Just going in the recipe book. If you like it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Does it all hinge on me? Caroline liked it. And and Caroline is a lot like me, a textured person. And I'm not fond of bread pudding just because I don't like soggy bread. But she loved it. Ready? I'm ready. I've already had a bite. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> the whipped cream. Is perfect on top of it. It's like a little mini dessert that's full of the coffee flavor. I mean, mm -hmm. it's got it's rich with coffee flavor, not overly sweet. Texture. That's not, exactly what Caroline said. She said it wasn't too sweet. It was texture is not a big thing for me. That is a that is a really good treat. Right is there. it cookbook? It's, cook, it's cookbook worthy. Um, drizzle a little chocolate Ooh. on top. Or more of the chocolate chips. Yeah, more, or, yeah, because. The coffee outpowers the chocolate? Just a half. Just a little bit, but, okay. But, but it's, great. it's <clears throat> great. So take note, you can decrease the coffee a little bit or increase the mm -hmm. chocolate. I used all the chocolate I had. Yeah. You know why it's all she had? Well, I used cocoa powder, and I just decorated the top with what chocolate chips I had left. <laughs> they know why I've already told them. She's been sneaking handfuls of them. Yep. But, perfect. That's right here. It's a great little treat. You can serve this at a brunch, or you can serve it as a little dessert after supper. I also told them this was for a restaurant originally in my head, and I told them what you did with the yeast roll dough um, but you set it out of the freezer and we came home and it had risen and it was yeah. like down in the pork big, big, big. it was a mess yeah. was a i mess. make mistakes it's okay very rarely all right well there you have it so it's going in the cookbook all right guys we're off to make fun day yep we're going to the fun day um and we will see you guys next time right here on the farm and pastor's wife remember the grease is hot enough you, you can, can fry, fry anything. anything. Bye, y'all. I guess.